Hey guys, welcome to Joey Joy Fitness and to this legs, or bums and tums workout. We're going to be concentrating on the big muscle groups in the legs and the bottom and of course through the abdominals. Do what you can, leave out what you can't if you do enjoy it. As always, please like, share and subscribe, hit the bell to let me know you've been through. So when we're ready, we're going to start off with our warm up. So just rolling through the shoulders, just take a shoulder roll in position, taking quite a big shoulder roll, my shoulder's clicking already. So just speed it up, just smooth it out, just rolling the shoulders back, and then rolling forwards. <sighs> out of breath already. <sighs> just open and close through the chest. It all seems a bit daft because we're doing legs, bums and tums while we're warming up through the upper body and not doing anything through the legs because I want to do the warm up into the lower body as part of the routine. Good. So just reaching up towards the sky, stretching out through the sides of the body. We're reaching up, sway from side to side, just loosening and limbering. Lovely, four, three, two, one. Take a little wrap around, soften your knees so that you're not coming off of straight legs. Try and move the shoulders more than the hips. So if you're doing the hips and everything's turning, just sink down low, working across the belly more than down into the knees. Good. Let that go, start to circle the hips round. And just rolling round. Working through the legs and go back the other way. I like everything to be balanced and even. Lovely. And then just dropping through and rolling through your knees. Seeing how that feels. And rolling back the other way. Okay, we're going to take a little down up in position. Really small to begin with. Warming up into those legs. Knees, ankles, hips. Down and up. So there'll be lots of repetitions. So if you need to take a break, take a break. We're looking at doing things long time so that they really get deep into the muscles. Eight more. Three, two, and one. Take a little shake out. We're going to set up for a parallel squat. Just turn inside on so you can see. So feet around about hip width apart, maybe a little wider. Dropping back and lifting up. Dropping down and up. Drop the bum away. I'm adding in a little bicep curl here. You don't have to do anything with the arms. bottom back rather than pushing the knees forwards keep the knees over the ankles so if you're sitting back into a chair try and keep the body long chest lifted again rather than dropping the body down and coming into the lower back Four, three, two, and one. Hold it down and pulse now, please. You can rest the hands down. If you do feel this in your lower back, keep the hands up. 
Just let the hands hang. Hang's not important. Just wherever you feel they can be. Three, two, one. Let's do that again. Big down and up. Big down and up. this morning because it's quite overcast it's quite grey here feels quite cool but actually that base temperature is still quite warm three two one okay take those legs to the back of your mat you're going to do a step out lunge and we're going to stay on the same leg so I've gone on my right which would be your left but you can go on whichever one you want Stepping out into a lunge. Again, you can let the arms rest. You can use them for balance. You can do something with them if you want to. Focus today, legs, bums and tums. So arms getting a bit of a rest. Depends what you've done the rest of the week. So if you've been training your upper body, this is a great one to do. Give that a rest, but still keep moving. Keep stepping out. So again, be mindful of your joints. Try not to push through the knee. So make sure you take a big step. Try and work on getting the back knee down. Okay. I want you to hold this out now, please. Hold it out, dropping the back knee down and up. This is where the balance sometimes gets a little compromised. So if you need to hold on to something, hold on. But static lunge now. Here's some clicks and pops. I've got a dodgy knee on my good leg this week. It's like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think uh, I've been doing a lot less than I would normally do. So I think everything's starting to seize up a little bit. Ten seconds. Okay, push that foot to the back, take a little shake. Stepping out on the other side, on side two, doesn't matter which leg you've used. Stepping out on side two.
drop the back knee down and up, static lunge. going. Ten more seconds. Three, two, last one. Okay, give the legs a shake out. I'm going to take the legs quite wide. We are going to reach up, touch either to the knee. If you want to come down to the floor, you can. Just be mindful that we're still kind of waking the body up. We've not even been working 15 minutes yet. So, side to side, lean and lunge. It's more important that you keep your body nice and lifted than dropping the body to reach the foot. Inner thigh stretch, working through. If it's too much with the arms, you can just do the legs, of course. So, getting out of breath, feeling too tired, just the legs. Try and keep the legs <clears throat> before you let go of the exercise. times right and left is one so three to go and two more last time touch lift touch lift good take a little shaky position just going to do a little bit of an active recovery just going to roll through can you see roll through the feet into a calf raise. Excuse me. So legs include the calves. So just a bit of active recovery between that section of kind of warming up and moving into the more challenging section. And you might not notice too much of a difference. That's fine might be quite challenged by it. So just be aware of that. Rolling through, lifting up. Good. 10 seconds of this. And we're gonna come back with a squat lunge, squat combo. So take the legs wide, you're gonna squat down wide. In fact, let's just do wide squat to begin with. So just feeling this before we start complicating things. Nice wide squat, sometimes called sumo squat. Down and up. Again, the body is long. Don't drop the body. Work into the glutes. Squeeze your bottom on the way up. Lift yourself by engaging glutes. This will protect your back. And it will also work the squat how it's supposed to work. Taking the emphasis off the joints. Keep 
going down and up, lots of time, really get into these. So make sure you pick up the feet, you go step, step to make sure you're in position. Don't just twist round because you'll put pressure through the knees. So squat, step your feet round. Step your feet into position. I know it's extra movement, but this is an exercise class, so extra movements are allowed. Keep going. Okay, we're into the final section now. We're gonna do eight. Now one whole section is one. This is seven. And six. Five more. Remember the countdown is your friend. This tells you to keep going. You're almost there. Three more, come on, three. Last two times. Oh, let's go. Let's do it. Squat, lunge. Squat and lunge. Well done. Shake those legs out. We're coming down onto all fours. We're going to start off with a leg lift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move my mat around so you can see. Come to lying down, please. Excuse me, gosh. And you're going to lift alternate legs. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze the bottom, stretch through the abdominals, hop upper body, hold the upper body down. Lift and lower. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift the leg behind. Eight to go. Remembering right, left is one.
Last time. Okay, let's take that bottom back into pose of a child. Hold it there. We're going to come up onto all fours. We're going to lift the leg up into donkey kicks. So squeezing up. Try not to twist. And try not to dump down into the supporting knee. So use your core, knee up and down, leg is bent, pushing your foot towards the sky. Squeeze into those buttocks. We're lifting the leg. Abs on tight. Pull that belly in. Strong through the arms, strong through the spine, smile in the mouth, love what you're doing, even if you don't quite, remembering that nothing lasts forever, in just but a few seconds it will be finished. So push through, unless of course it activates any real strong pain response in you, and then you're given a get out of jail free card. Last few seconds here, what we're going to do, just because I'm likely to forget, we are going to just take a quick stretch and we are going to sw 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 swip, no, we are going to swap our switch onto side two. Okay, I lost you a few seconds just not being able to find my words, so there you go, that's your gift. Lifting up and down, second side. Yeah. Nice work guys, really well done. Keep going.
Just a few more. See if you can make it through. Last two, please. And last one. Okay, come on down. Just give those wrists a little roll out. Make sure they feel okay. And then what we're gonna do, I can only describe it as a dog wing a tree, okay? So think about how they cock their leg to the side. What I want you to be careful of is that you don't kind of drop down through the opposite arm to twist through the body. So try and keep everything nice and on. If you're struggling with your wrists because we've been on them, make fists. That means the wrist is nice and long. Or you can do this standing. So you can do it standing. Okay, so you don't have to be down on those wrists if it doesn't work for you. Wherever you are, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Try not to put the weight back in the knee. Keep it off. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Good. Keep going. here squeeze and release 10 9 8 7 oh, 6 5 4 Take a stretch out, just a little one, release off. We are going to go straight in to a lower body lying position. So just remember working the same leg, the same leg, please. Lift and lower here, straight leg. Squeeze into the buttock. Same side, don't change. Just to come off those wrists, just to give those arms a bit of a rest because we have got those side bent leg lifts to side two, but we just need to make sure wrists, elbows and shoulders feel good. And we can do that by just sitting around and being Still and lazy, or we can do it with this little active recovery. Okay, four to go. All right, let that go. Hopefully those hands and legs feeling okay. Come back up now onto those arms. Just gonna turn this way so you can see. Lift and lower. Pull on through the core. Hold your belly in and on. Scoop it up underneath you. <sighs> nice job. Lift and release. Keep going. I'm kind of matching sensations on the other side. I'd say we've got at least 20 more reps to go. It's starting to kick in and burn. <clears throat> Take a rest if you need to. Lift and lower. Whew, 
Ooh. Can we do 10 more, please? 10, <clears throat> 9, excuse me, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, goodness, give those legs a little stretch out. I'm going to take a down dog here and just take a pedal. Okay, and then I want you to flip round. We're going to sit on our bottoms. So we're going to come into a Pilates C curve. So we're going to drop away. And then we're going to do a rotation with an arm open. Come back through centre, drop down, rotate, lift, reach the arm back and up. So the arms are doing this. The arms are actually moving as you drop back. Open, close, lift. Drop, open, close, lift. Drop. Now some people find that this really activates into their hip flexors here and they struggle with it. Try it off of straight legs if that's the case. It just means that they're a little bit less contracted. And if it's a lot with the arms, you can rest the arms down, just turn the shoulders so you're twisting the body. So again, I never really think there's any excuse to not do anything. There's always a modification. If you can't do this at all, you can just twist through the body. So you don't have to do the drop down. Still twisting into the obliques. So there's lots of options before that don't do, but I do advocate don't do if you really feel that you can't. You're better off not doing than injuring, and then you can't do. That's not beneficial to anybody. But there's usually something we can do. We're gonna do four more sets of this, remembering that right and left is one. So three to go. Two more. Last one each side. Before making our way all the way down onto our backs. We're going to start with a little shoulder bridge in position. We're going to lift up and we're going to squeeze the bottom. Squeeze, release. Squeeze the bum. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, up, and again, squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, up. Do another set, please. Lift, squeeze. Ten to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, take a long stretch out. Bending the knees, feet on the floor. Reach up through your right arm. Come over to touch the left leg. Little crunch, an oblique crunch. Little twist round. One side. So you may have noticed that it's quite difficult to differentiate legs to bums to tums because they're all kind of getting in 
and working to help and assist each other. So you do a squat, you're using your legs, you're using your bottom, you're using your tum. Something like those curl downs, the C curves. Again, you know, your primary worker may have changed that focus now in your abs, but your legs and your bum still working. Four to go. Three, two, one. Just change sides, raise the other arm. So it's a great little workout to do because all the exercises are interlinked. They're assisting getting some overload, so really nice, work well together. One more, okay. Flick your feet down, just rock your knees from side to side, release off the back. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little roll up. So extend the legs, reach the arms overhead. You're gonna reach up, look at your toes, and lower down. Exhale, look to the toes, and inhale. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, curl down. Don't worry too much about the breath. Just make sure you are breathing. Sometimes people get so caught up in whether to breathe here or breathe there that everything else kind of goes out the window. So just working on letting your body naturally should want to push the breath out as you take the effort. Should want to draw it in as you release. Now, if you're happy with this, and I'll just let you know, this is our final exercise, so that might determine whether you've got a little bit extra to give. We're gonna lift the legs as well. So curling up, lift the legs, and then curling down, lower legs, lower body. Lift up, curl up, look at toes. Exhale, release. Lift up. And release. So again, if you like this, but you just can't do loads of reps, you can go to a single legged option where you lift up one leg and then release and then lift up the other one. So don't feel that you have to do both legs together. We're going to do five more and that starts now. Five. And four. So if you are doing the single leg option, 
that should make you even because you would have been on one side three as i said we are doing it now two last one if you are uneven do one extra to make it right take a stretch in position bend the knees rocking over from side to side loosen off the lower back little windscreen wipers before bringing yourself up to sitting and reaching and lifting over to the right lengthen through sweep it down and around lengthen through to the left we're just going to come up to do some leg stretches bum stretches so roll yourself around and up when you're ready start off with a quad stretch bring that foot up into the hand hold on if you need to this is my very steady side so I'm all right this way tend to wobble around a bit on the other side stretch that leg out behind take a calf stretch we did those calf raises 40 minutes ago or so now and then pull back onto that leg into a hamstring stretch nice work lovely slide this leg up behind just reach down towards the ground you don't have to touch the ground you can be anywhere just hanging and then coming up the leg that's in front hold on if you need to is going to come up onto that leg bend it out so it's like a standing pigeon pose looking to get into that glute and then from there you can take that foot coming into quad stretch on side two good stepping back calf stretch or in my case blister stretch I wore a pair of shoes that destroyed my ankles for running in yesterday so I've got a nice big scabby blister on the back of my heel pull back and when you do that calf stretch it just pulls into it just nice <laughs> oh dear. slide up behind reach down and then coming up slide that leg up and on into that glute stretch Oh, there's a big wind in here today, it's blowing me right over. We are done, well done, lift up, reach up, and pull down. Take your arms out to the side, give yourself a nice...